Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Mac Flash Movie Trivia Championship. My name is Matthew, and I will be the one asking the questions around here today. Today's match is going to be, you know, epic as far as on paper. We've got the conclusion of the tournament to the fandom uh, division. Uh, the winner of this match will be the number one contender, and we'll meet Andrew Bryan at the end of this month for the title shot. Now, it's going to be interesting today because we have more than two competitors. We are going back to a triple threat match. This is the second one in as many tournaments uh, this year. So, before we get uh, really going, we're going to introduce the competitors. Introducing first, with a fandom record of two wins and two defeats, Jerry Marchinkowski. Nailed it. Thank you. <laughs> I've been practicing awesome. all month. I'm so glad to be part of this this triple threat. This is exactly what I wanted. What a way to end the, end the tournament. Yeah, you're you're here, you know, a little sooner than expected because of uh in our last match, Francois pulled the victory. All of the, the competitors stay for tournament are one win, one loss. And I mean, like you said, you're happy. Mm -hmm. Tell us more. Like when you saw the match, did you jump out of your seat? I was, I had no expectations. I don't know. I've never seen these two face each other before, but to, to watch it and go down to the last couple of questions was, uh, what's the expression? Uh, white knuckle thrill ride, I think is it. Yeah. All right. We'll put that on the poster. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll continue. And his opponent with a fandom record of three wins and two defeats, the man called Geek Pool. Oh, you didn't know? Your ass better call somebody! Uh, Geek Pool, you are back here. Um, I think it was almost highly expected of you to get your two wins and move on to the title shot, but you lost your last match against Francois. How are you feeling going into a triple threat match? Pretty good. I got my lucky board, got my lucky pen. I think we're just going to knock this one out of the park. Francois got a lucky question on me. On the last question there. Well, we'll see if he can repeat what he did last time. Introducing their opponents. The CEO of Mac Flash Entertainment. He comes in with a fandom record of two wins and two defeats. He is the logo, the face of the company, Francois Jacques. That's right. And you tell Robert, if he is not going to eat the horse, then we don't need the horse. Okay? That's what's going on. Oh, sorry. Hey, we've started. Hi, guys. Just taking care of some stuff over here. Horse stuff. We're ho horsing horse stuff. around a little bit. Yeah, so, <laughs> you need Are you eating that Taco Bell again? <laughs> this guy knows this guy knows what's up hey what's up matt i'm good how are you doing you are coming off a victory here you're, i mean technically geek pool has a better record but you're white hot off a of victory you must be feeling good feeling pretty good feeling pretty good uh hoping that again the questions kind of go my way as as they they tended to last time, it was nice. It was tight. It was a I, I like the uh, white knuckle thrill ride. It was definitely a little <laughs> nerve wracking. You know it's you know it, it gets interesting when your heart starts beating as a competitor because you're like oh my gosh there's actually a chance here I might I might actually do this. So here, here's hoping it goes like this today. Uh, so yes, just to repeat myself from earlier and remind everybody, this is well it's not a title shot. These guys are playing for something big. The winner of this match is the new number one contender for the Fandom Division Championship. Andrew Bryan currently is sunning and funning in Los Angeles with the belt. When he comes home, he's going to be returning to one of your mugs across from him. Who is that going to be? Everyone watching, throw it in the comments who you got, and we'll see how right you are. <laughs> Gentlemen, <laughs> are you ready to play? Let's go. Yep, let's do it. We'll kick things off with round number one. And as per tradition, we will talk about the rules to round number one. And they are 
The players will be asked eight questions from different movie fandoms. They will be given a time to write down an answer to be revealed when time is up. One point is awarded for each correct answer. All right. Round one. Question number one is in Star Wars. In The Empire Strikes Back, which one of Luke's hands is cut off by Darth Vader? Easy, an easy question to start off the game and the round. In Empire Strikes Back, which one of Luke's hands is cut off by Darth Vader? Five, four, three, two, one. We're starting with Geekpool. Right. Is correct for a point. Francois. Left. Is incorrect. Jerry, 50 50, break the tie. His right hand. It is his right hand. The score is one for Geekpool, one for Jerry, <clears throat> and Francois is without a score at this time. Round one, question number two. In Harry Potter, Ron joins the Quidditch team at what position? Round one, question number two. In Harry Potter, Ron, Ron joins the Quidditch team at what position? position five four three two one francois i'm gonna go keeper is correct for a point oh, jerry what a guess oh my god you oh, got wow. it as well nice. geek pool he's a keeper he's a keeper everyone gets a point there the score is two two to one Question number three in round number one is in the MCU. What is the name of the childlike member of the Eternals? Round one, question number three in, a, in the MCU. What is the name of the childlike member of the Eternals? Five, four, three, two, one. Jerry. Sprite is correct for point. Geek pool. I prefer seven up, but it's Sprite. <laughs> You've got a point as well. Francois? Uh, I had well, you know, his name is Simon. Uh, it's not Simon. <laughs> it's a she. The, uh, then, it's, then it's even less Simon. <laughs> <laughs> The score increases for Geekpool and Jerry. They are tied at three. Francois still sits at one point. We will go to question number four. In Middle Earth, Galadriel gives all the members of the Fellowship what gift? This is in Fellowship of the Ring. In the Lord of the Rings, the Fellowship of the Ring, Galadriel gives all of the members of the Fellowship what gift? Five, four, three, two, one. Geek pool. I don't know if I got that one right. Uh, necklace? Is incorrect. Francois? I wrote down a knife. Also incorrect. Jerry? A necklace. Also incorrect. They were all given cloaks, elven cloaks. Mm. Let's see if we can get back on track with question number five. We come back to Star Wars. In The Phantom Menace, who owns Anakin and his mother? In 
in Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. Who owns Anakin and his mother? Read answers in five, four, three, <clears throat> two, one. Francois. Is it Watto? It's Watto for a point. Uh, Jerry. Watto, I don't know how to spell it. I think we'll give you that. Is that cool? Watto, yeah. I put Quarto. <laughs> that, however, is incorrect. So Francois gets a point. Jerry gets a point. Geekpool is at three. Uh, the score is Jerry four, Geekpool three, Francois two. Everyone is still within the realm of White Knuckle Thrill Ride. <laughs> the new name of the movie. <laughs> I hope you have D-Box. Yes. <clears throat> My chair moves for sure. We'll continue the game in round one. Question number six, Harry Potter. Who is revealed to be the Half-Blood Prince? Question number six. Harry Potter, who is revealed to be the Half-Blood Prince? Five, four, three, two, one. Jerry. Same. <clears throat> Snape is correct for a point. Geek, geek pool. Professor Snape. Point for you as well. And Francois. I also have Snape. He also gets a point. Round one, question number seven. We come back to the MCU. In the Avengers Infinity War, what is used to make the handle to Thor's axe. Question number seven is in the MCU. In Avengers Infinity War, what is used to make the handle to Thor's axe? Uh -oh. Five, four, three, Two, one. We are starting with Geek Pool. Groot's arm. Correct for a point. Francois. I also have Groot's arm. You also get a point. And Jerry. I also have Groot's arm. You get a point as well. I was looking for my Groot. Ah. We're going to close. Have a real life <laughs> In my house, we just call them plants. <laughs> <laughs> In, uh, we are going to close round number one with question number eight, and this will take place in uh, Middle Earth. In the Hobbit trilogy, what mountain is the company of dwarves, dwarves heading to? In the Hobbit trilogy. What mountain is the Company of Dwarves heading to? Five, four, three, two, one. Francois. I wrote down Mordor. Is incorrect. Jerry. I, put, I wrote Mountain Doom. Also incorrect. Geek Dang. Cool. Oof. The Lonely Mountain. Is correct for a point. And Geek I... Cool. I Time almost wrote food. Mount Doom as well, Jerry. Oh. When, I saw you, when I saw yours, I was like, I swear if it is. <laughs> <laughs> but with that, we close round number one, and the score is Geekpool 6, Francois 4, Jerry 6. Now, there is a tie for first place, but because Geekpool has the better record of three wins and two losses, he will get to pick the categories in round one in round two rather he will get to pick those first but before we do that let's remind everyone how round two is played it's very similar to round number one but the players will be asked five questions chosen from different movie fandoms and categories eliminating them from round number three the generic questions of people places things and quotes could be about any of the four fandoms 
They will be given time to write down an answer to be revealed when time is up. Difficulty has increased, and two points are awarded for each correct answer. So, like I said, Geekpool is technically in the lead. He will get to pick the first category. I will take places for 400, Matt. He'll take places... First. Um, Jerry gets to pick second. Let's go to Middle Earth, please. Sorry. Oops. Um, okay, Middle Earth is second. Francois. Let's go with quotes. Quotes is third. Uh, back to Geekpool. Let's go with Star Wars. Star Wars for four. And Jerry. Uh, things. Things it is. Okay. Heading into round number two. How's everybody feeling? Start with Geekpool. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm glad I got that last one right. And those two couldn't figure it out. <laughs> France, why? Why couldn't you figure it out? Right? So much going on in here. I I, I panicked. No, I've and, never seen I've never seen the Hobbit series. So it's not going to help me at all. And Jerry, Mount Doom is a French is in all other kinds of franchises. And wrong trilogy. Like, yeah. I'll admit, wrong trilogy. It's fine. It's okay. These these are the questions that matter. So. Having said that, we'll go on to the questions that matter. Round number two. Question number one. Uh, Geekpool picked places. And those places will be found in Star Wars. In A New Hope. After Luke decides not to go to Alderaan with Ben, he offers him, he offers to take him where? Question number one in round number two, Star Wars Places. In A New Hope, after Luke decides not to go to Alderaan with Ben, he offers to take him where? Five, four, three, two, one. And we'll start with Geekpool. I'm pretty sure I got that one wrong. Most Eisley. Close, but yes, you're incorrect. Francois. <clears throat> Was it Mount Doom? <laughs> <laughs> Not this time either. No, Jared. we're gonna get it one day. We're gonna get it. <laughs> Maybe it was Coruscant. Coruscant is also incorrect. He'll take him as far as Anchorhead. Oh, of course. I almost said Anchorage. Oh, that's Anchorage. close. Anchorage is in Alaska, though. Yeah. Um, moving on to question number two. Uh, Jerry picked Middle Earth. And your question is, what does Aragorn say right before charging into battle at the Black Gates of Mordor? This is in Return of the King. <clears throat> question number two is in Middle Earth. In Lord of the Rings Return of the King, what does Aragorn say right before charging into battle at the Black Gates of Mordor. Francois, it's not Two Mount Doom. <laughs> two Mount, Mount Doom. Doom! Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> he leaves uh, the last answer, just puts two. Four, three, two, one. We are starting with Francois, though. He, I'm pretty sure he said, Leroy Jenkins! <laughs> <laughs> No, no, sorry. That's I'm sure the director is cut. That's what happened. Right? <laughs> Did he say for, for Frodo? For Frodo is correct for two. Holy points. shit! And <laughs> pardon my French. Pardon my French. For Frodo. For Frodo, you get it as well. Two wow. points to you. There you go. To Mount Doom. 
We'll continue round number two with question number three. Quotes is in Harry Potter. <clears throat> what spell does Harry use to retrieve his broom during the Triwizard Tournament? Round two, question number three, quotes from Harry Potter. What spell does Harry use to retrieve his broom during the Triwizard Tournament? Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, Jerry. Accio. Accio is correct for two points. Geek pool. Accio Firewall. Correct as well for two points to you. And Francois? I just wrote that Wingardium Leviosa. That's a spell from the movies for sure. There you go. It works. <laughs> what is incorrect? <laughs> incorrect. Um, moving on to round two, question number four. In Star Wars. <clears throat> In Solo, a Star Wars story. What does Lando title his hollow journal entries? Round two, question number four is in Star Wars. In Solo, a Star Wars story. What does Lando title his hollow journal entries? Five, four, three, two, one. Geek pool. The Lando Chronicles. Is close but incorrect. Francois. I have nothing. You have nothing. Jerry? Lando Logs. <laughs> That's <laughs> terrific. Not proud, not, but not incorrect. It was the Calrissian Chronicles. Oh. Um. Calrissian Cram Chronicles. I think it was on entry number five. The Lando logs is why he leaves in the bathroom. There you go. You can use that one, Francois, if you want. That's right. It's all that code 45. <laughs> okay. We'll close out round number two with question number five. Things. Things in the MCU. <clears throat> At the beginning of Infinity War, which Infinity Stone does Thanos already possess? Question number five, things, things found in the MCU. At the beginning of Infinity War, what Infinity Stone does Thanos already possess? Five, four, three, two, one. Francois. The Power Stone? Is correct for two points. Francois gets the correct answer in the second round. Jerry. Power Stone. You have it as well. Geek pool. I have the power! And everyone has the power stone for two points. Heading into round number three. It is still not over. But uh, Jerry and Geekpool are tied going into round number three again. But again, since Geekpool has the better record, he will get to pick questions in round number three first let's take a look at the rules to round number three the players will be asked three questions from the remaining categories they will be given time to write down an answer to be revealed when time is up difficulty has again increased and three points are awarded for each correct answer the player with the highest score at the end of this round is the winner we are prepared to go to sudden death if necessary, but we'll see what happens here first. Geek Pool, you will get to pick the first category. I would like to select MCU for 500, Matt. MCU first. 
Gary. Uh, Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Second. And Francois, if you want to say it, you can. No, I, it's it's good because I wanted people. So oh, people perfect. it is. Yeah, it's perfect. It all works out. <laughs> Everyone got what they wanted. All coming up, Francois. It's all coming up, Francois. <laughs> How is everybody feeling going into round number three? The pressure is on. I can see it on everyone's face and in their voice and everything. Yeah. It you was, can? Uh, there's yes. so, so many of those I feel I should have known. I even had a chance. You know, it's not like that Lord of the Rings where I've never seen the movie, but like the, I've seen the Harry Potter. I remember the scene, you know, I've saw, I, I've seen the, uh, uh, whatever the other question I got wrong. And I was like, I should have, you know, it, it's somewhere in there, but that's it. Jerry, how are you feeling? It's close. This is, it is close. Do the okay. whole thing about the white knuckle throw ride that again. <laughs> <laughs> Round three. I'm gonna die Let's... laughing if France Law pulls these three off and we do. It's gonna be amazing. That would be amazing. <laughs> Round three. Question number one is in the MCU. <clears throat> in the Avengers, including the one he destroys. How many punching bags does Steve Rogers have at the gym? Question number one of round number three is in the MCU. In the Avengers, including the one he destroys, how many punching bags does Steve Rogers have at the gym? Five, four, three, two, one. We're starting with Francois. All uh, right, man. It was between two. I went with I went with four. Is incorrect. Oh. Uh, Jerry. Is it five? Also incorrect. Geek pool. Seven. It's seven. Five. Geek pool takes the lead. Three points to him. Oh. He kills one, four on the floor, and he takes one with him. There you go. That's that that makes sense, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I might not be good at this up, but I, I know my math. <laughs> we'll keep things going in round number three with, uh, <laughs> with question number two in Harry Potter. What are the names of Neville Longbottom's parents? We need both. Just two first names. Round three. Question number two is in Harry Potter. What are the names? What are the names of Neville Longbottom's parents? Five, four, three, two, one. Francois. Bob and Marge Longbottom. Is incorrect. I'm sorry. Jerry? Is it Bill and Melinda Longbottom? <laughs> also incorrect. Geekpool? I know this is wrong. Jeff and Sally. Jeff and Sally is also incorrect. We were looking for Frank and Alice. Oh. oh Frank man. and Alice Longbottom. And when do they actually say that? In the uh, quite a few times, I think. At least uh, I know for sure in uh, in uh, Order of the Phoenix, because they were original members of the Order of the Phoenix. And in that little photograph. Sirius Black says it for sure. Cool. Hmm. We continue round number three with the final question of the round and the game, presumably. In People. These people are from Middle Earth. Middle Earth people. What is the name of Bilbo Baggins' mother? <clears throat> Round three. Question number three is in people. What 
is the name of Bilbo Baggins' mother. Five, four, three, two, one. Francois. Marjorie. I'm sticking with it. <laughs> Marjorie Mount Doom is incorrect. Marjorie. That's her middle name, her, her maiden name. Jerry. Glenda. Glenda is also incorrect. With that, we have a winner. Geek Cool, show us your answer. I thought it was Mary Took. Oh, you're close again. It was Belladonna Took. Belladonna Took. Wow. I knew it was Took. Yes. But with that, we have a winner with a score of 15 points, Geek Pool. Geek Pool will be moving on to the championship match later this month. How are you feeling after that? Amaz that was a God, very good match. I was very surprised on uh, that last question, the MCU question. I had five, and then I started recounting in my head. I'm like, he okay, killed one. He put another one up, and there was like four on the floor, and he took one with him. So I erased my five and put seven. Well, you showed your work, and logic willed out. You got the correct answer to the last, one of those three-point questions. You are ahead by three points. You win this match. But we'll talk to our other competitors. Francois, I think you just about match your score from the last game. Pretty good, though. <laughs> Consistency. There's something to be said about that. That one was a winning score. This time you are you are out to dry. I know. I think I think it's better this way. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad to have I've played along and I made it this far. To have won it without having put in the work uh, would have been, you know, it would have, <laughs> you know, just ruined the whole spirit of the game. So I'm glad it's going to the rightful owners uh, in this case. <laughs> Jerry, 12 points is very good. You just couldn't pull out any of the uh, three-round uh, answers. You got uh, you got to come back and try for the number one contendership, which, of course, was something you wanted. How are you feeling? You don't always get a second chance at everything, and a second chance at a potential title shot is more than I was expecting. So I'm glad to play, even though I played this game from behind, and you know I was hopeful for those easy questions in round three, which I didn't get, and... That's what cost me. Uh, speaking of second chances at a title shot, this is Geekpool's second chance at the title shot. He was in. He was at the finals of the initial fandom uh, tournament, and Andrew Bryan won that. So, so we'll see AB versus Geekpool two, the rematch that everyone wanted, and we're going to see that in our next video later this month. When's the weigh-in? Wins the way, and that'll be after AB gets back. He's got to put on a couple more vacation pounds, and we'll see what happens <laughs> as a result. I want to thank all of our competitors for playing. This concludes our tournament. These guys were willing to come in and play along and have all this kind of fun. If anybody watching wanted to have this kind of fun, you can do that. Head over to our Facebook page. Mac Flash Movie Trivia uh, is on Facebook. If you go to the Mac Flash entertainment page it's just a couple of clicks away from there uh you can find the links to all of our uh amazing stuff in the description facebook page uh facebook patreon and the merch links are all there i'm happy that this one is over i am sweating in this mac flash hoodie which i got from the merch site so you should you should probably get yourself a t-shirt like this one which i got from the Versailles. it's in the laundry <laughs> <laughs> but with that i'll thank everybody watching one more time don't forget to like share subscribe tune in next time when we will have a championship match it is going to be another white knuckle throw ride everybody we will see you guys then thanks for watching